just uh, caught me doing some research for Tour de Force Tour number three to Constable Country in Suffolk. And handily, rather luckily, I purchased this uh, artwork back in the 1980s. And number one, of course, is John Constable. So I'm having a bit of a crash course at the moment because I hope to go to Flatford Mill and Willie Lott's Cottage later in the week. I'm going to take a train from London Liverpool Street to Manning Tree. That takes about an hour, but I've managed to secure a first class rail ticket one way for £9.90. And then from the station it's uh, just a short walk to Flatford Mill, though <laughs> The forecast at the moment is uh, a little dodgy. You may notice it's raining outside already. Uh, but I'll have to offer a few prayers to the gods. Otherwise, I'm going to be rather like uh, one of Constable's critics of the day when he said that whenever he looked at Constable's paintings, he felt he had to grab an umbrella. And I may have to do the same thing for real when I go next Thursday. But we'll keep our fingers crossed. I'm on my way to Liverpool Street Station. And to my delight, I have discovered that I am catching one of the new trains on the Greater Anglia route. Had my free coffee, of course, on the train. But... Upon arriving at Manning Tree Station, which incidentally is the closest station to Constable Country and Flatfoot Mill, I was first tempted to have a snack at the station buffet on Platform 2. Yes, and I can recommend it. I went for the special, and look, the coffee here too is free. Flatfoot Mill is well signposted from the station. The walk along St Edmund Way is, what, just under two miles? It's entirely flat, too, on good paths, but you will be more comfortable wearing boots or stout shoes, especially if you wish to walk the riverbank later. Within the hour, Flatford appears on the horizon. A question. How do you pronounce the river's name? Is it Stour? or store. So, I asked and got a variety of answers. As far as I can work out, if you live on the Suffolk side of the river, it is Stour, but on the Essex side, it is Stour. Now, have I got that the right way around? John Constable was born in 1776 at East Burkholt, but the house unfortunately no longer stands. His best known paintings were executed in London, but he would return to Suffolk during the summer months to make sketches and his studio still survives. Although much has changed, and mostly by natural growth, the visitor can still experience the atmosphere and location that inspired his greatest masterworks, loved and appreciated worldwide. Constable's skies feature in much of his work, which I went in search of, but I was unlucky. There was 100% cloud, and including the sky does not do any favours for the photograph as it becomes the brightest part of the picture. Therefore, one explores the compositions that either exclude the sky completely or reduces it as much as possible. It also helps if there is a warm hue in the foreground. In fact, this soft lighting is best for close-ups and something else which is just coming up in a moment. I have made my way up the hill from Flatford Mill to St Mary's Church at East Burkholt. As you will have already seen with the images taken down at the mill, the day has turned out unfortunately rather cloudy, 
unfortunate, of course, for landscape photography, but it is ideal for church interiors, and in particular, stained glass. So I'm going to have a go, and I'm hoping that perhaps later in the day, the sun might make an appearance. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Now briefly, all photographs are handheld with the help of the Olympus Image Stabilizer. I spot metered highlights and then correct it in Adobe Lightroom. I use the hyperfocal distance to ensure that everything from front to back is sharp. Further details about these techniques are found in my other programs on YouTube. The bells are situated outside in a bell cage, and although intended to be a temporary measure, they have remained there since the 16th century, when, in 1525, it was intended to build a tower at the west end of the church. Unfortunately, the project faltered and was never revived, but today the bells are still rung. It was still cloudy, but I continued my planned walk to Dedham and admired its fantastic architecture before returning along the river bank when I got caught in, yes, a shower. But suddenly, the magic happened. The sun appeared, so I quickly strode back to Flatford Mill. I don't think they are constable skies, but they are certainly photographic, and, of course, the crowds have now gone. Willie Lott's house looked great under a late afternoon sun, but since this morning the wind had increased and the earlier shot sported a better reflection. Nevertheless, a great end to the day, and I trotted happily back to the station just in time for my return train.